Hi guys, it's Sunday the 30th of August. Uh, just done a bit of harvesting. Been growing this big boy for somebody. <coughs> so they can get it stuffed and whatever. Or cause it some curly kale, broccoli, uh, lettuce, tomatoes, beans galore. Uh, so I've got to take those to somebody now. Uh, I'll get to my mum's for dinner, so some of those beans can go with us. There's some more tomatoes here. Uh, and I've got uh, some more tomatoes to pick uh, outside when I come back later today. Uh, I haven't rated this over still yet. I've uh, fixed my... Uh, onions that they stamped on but the problem was I'd, I'd sown some carrot seeds here so I've tried to do it as gently as I could and they'd start to come through as well so uh, but yeah tomatoes wise <coughs> there's thousands and thousands and thousands to big so I might what I might do is where there's only a few tomatoes left on the truss is just cut the truss uh, anybody know what a variety of uh, squashes? Some nice plum ones here. Uh, somebody wants some of those uh, off the plot, so I said he can have some. So, <coughs> if I cut them off green, they'd start to turn. If I cut them off, they can uh, ripen. Um, this needs. It's broke in the wind, so I'm just leaving it. Probably cut the top off, but you can see how tall these get in anyway. <coughs> Might be worthwhile me just cutting those off tonight. Squash plants are going ballistic up up the. Uh, but uh, yeah. There's a bunch of squash somewhere down here, if I remember right. Not... Oh, there he is. There he is. But there's some whoppers over here. Let's have a little wander around and show you if I can. Uh, getting all this ready for me, Daleks, to go clearing all this up, leveling it as best I can. Um, I don't know, it's just wood chip here. I'll probably see it on the top. Well, I've got. I can get some more um, paving slabs. Put them on the paving slabs. I'm not too sure. But if I get the weed membrane down and get it all levelled, at least has another job done. And uh, get rid of some of this junk. Uh, try and move some of this out of here as well. Sunflowers are coming to the end. <clears throat> more beetroot coming up nicely. Uh, here's some more squash. Honestly, don't know what the variety is. I've, I did. I'd never, never planted these, but there's some butternut squashes there. That's a biggie. Uh, there's one here as well. Uh, sweet corn's doing well. I think some of those could be ready for harvest. I did harvest that one the other day. And if we go back round here. Uh, I've got to level all this off as well and then get that water butt uh, up here. And uh, start getting this, the shed uh, roof sorted it's not leaking so i just need to get up there and have a quick look and uh, i've got some gutter which i'm going to put on the side to collect where it's going to be on the back uh, to collect the water into there uh, i've got to go and get a circus saw i bought a drill a new drill replacement drill um and it was 90 pounds uh including its two batteries and a battery charger don't really need the battery charger because i've got two already at home because of two batteries, only 1.5 amp. 
uh, but well, then I can get a circus saw, just the bare, the bare circus saw, no battery. Um, so I can use one of those batteries temporarily and then I'll save up for next month and buy one of the 5 amp ones. I think the 5 amp batteries are £75 each. So lesson learned, don't leave the bloody things in here. Yeah, Even if I've got a camera on. But uh, when I get the circus saw I can cut these ends off. Although I might leave them, I don't know yet. But uh, the water put's going to go there and I was going to make a little box shed thing so that my tools could go in it. But uh, not too sure yet. But again, if I can level that all off. Uh, I've got to do the fronts of these as well. But whilst this is growing, not much access to it. So uh, here's the big boys. There's two there. There's another one there. I've just got to be careful there. Don't start rotting on the bottoms. That's come off here. Yeah, I didn't think that looked right. Yeah, it's gone all, it's gone all squidgy widgy. First casualty. You do have to be a bit careful with the butternut squash. Well, any squash really. They can go off quite quickly. Form there. So, uh, see, I don't think I've got many butternut squashes. Pants, uh, as I said, I'm sure the seed company have copped up. See, those are lying on wood chips, so they're not too bad. There's another one over there, I can see. You see there. Uh, I've got another apology to make about the sound on this thing as well. Uh, it keeps going in and out, but it's, it's a problem with the iPhones and the, there's two microphones on these later models. And uh, one on the bottom, one on the top. And uh, it keeps cutting out, so... Anyway. I know what type these are. These little round ones. Something like something Dipenza or something like that. So I know that one, I know that variety. Red onions are doing all right. They've, uh, I think these are ready to come up. They're not going to be huge, but they're actually were a throwaway plant because they were in a module which I'd, I'd grown from seed and I just, they'd sort of bulb, bulbed up a bit and I thought stick them in. So those are actually a bonus crop. Uh, and I will start growing onions from seeds now. It's the first time I've really done it, uh, especially red ones, because they tend from sets they tend to go to seed very, uh, very easily. Uh, the shallots, not really doing a lot now. Uh, and basil outdoor basil, it's not really brilliant. These are the new lettuce crops, which are doing okay. Those have gone to seed, which I wanted because I want the seed heads on the seeds uh, I've got to pick these beans these are the ones that I'm shelling for uh, stews and that so I have done a few <coughs> but uh, that could be a job tonight nice quiet job to do sit down and do it uh, these are the lettuce crops I put in they are starting to uh, come to life um, I'm glad they didn't stand all over those. And these are the ones that I interspersed. Red, green, red, green, different ones. They are mixed leaf anyway. Um, we'll see anyway. If we get another crop off them, that'd be great. Still haven't done this. But uh, <coughs> it all takes time. And when you're cropping, like I'm cropping at the moment, it's difficult. I think something's been rutting in there. Badgers. But again, all this needs weeding and clearing out. And the strawberry plants need a bit of TLC. Cucumber plants are doing, yeah, they were the spare ones. Done a bit of weeding on here and a bit of pulling up of uh, dead uh, lettuce, as you can see. And I've done half of these, they're all dying off now. Uh, 
So I've got two rows there to, to, to sew some more bits and pieces on. Uh, my fennel is doing okay, I think. Carrots are doing alright up here, actually. I've just left them in. See if I can get a bit of size on them. Uh, don't know what variety these are either. Uh, Kale's doing great, it's the first pickings, but I've got, um, they're covered in uh, white fly. Is it white fly? They were. I'll cut those off. Cut the broccoli heads off, and I've cut the stems crosswise. See if we get any little kalets. But you can see, I don't know whether you can see, but there are some there, little ones. That's radicio, and in between the broccoli and the radicio, the far side, there's kohlrabi, which I've never grown before. Uh, sage gone ballistic. I've been taking a few, but um, I'm going to do a big crop of that, big harvest, and uh, cut it back. But uh, they're really, really good. Um, it's done really well. Lavender's beautiful still. And I've actually got my chives somewhere in here. The chives are actually growing. And I've quite put some length on. So, again, I'm just leaving them for this year. I'll cut some of them down when all of this squash material is dying down. Let's just go up here. This is where they dropped a lot more stuff out of the bag. I've got to clear it all up. <coughs> There's a box of screws you can see there. And it was disintegrated anyway because the UV light had got to it. So there's probably the rest of it's probably somewhere on the site. Uh, these are all meant to be butternut squashes. We have got some I've shown you before. See how big they've got now. Oh, there's another one growing there. There's, about, there's a couple here. There's another one there. There's a couple here. Little baby ones. The one that was next to it. I haven't really had a fertile in here. I just left it to its own devices. No watering, really. Not a lot in there. They tend to grow and then the fruit's on the edges. So after it's about 30 foot, you get loads of these. I really don't know what the hell they are. Sunflowers finished out here as well and they're all falling over. So I think there's another job for today or tomorrow. This courgette pan has performed really well, but I think it's stopped. There's no flowers on here at all. There's one left here, and it's going rotten on the end, I think. Oh no, there's, oh no, there's two here. There's one there. Oh, so there's one there as well. There's one there. Yeah, so I think it's finished. That one's doing all great still. Still some more ground on that. And I've got stuff in there which I don't even want to go in. <laughs> Uh, yeah anyway this is 14 minutes long so i didn't want to bore you too much it's a little walk around a um, bit more upbeat than yesterday's um video uh, as i say keep on going don't let the buggers get you down that's what i say and we're not going to enjoy uh, some nice food like this knickers to them it's their loss my gain um, these are sweet peas that I took all off to get the seeds. Uh, so yeah, so all the polytunnels are the same. All the peppers and chilies are doing great. I've thinned them down as you can see the tomato plants, the leaves. Cucumbers are doing great. It's really starting to come along now. Um, thought I wasn't going to get many cucumbers, but they're doing okay. I've got a tray of stuff over there. More broccoli, 
uh, or broccoli, um, turnips, beetroots, and all that kind of jazz. I've got them on my little special notepad. Grapes, I've picked one set to try them, and uh, they're, they've got three seeds in each one. So I've got a feeling they're not. I don't know whether they're like eatable. Well, they're all eatable, but I don't know whether they're like jam making grapes or or that type of thing, and, or wine making grape. I don't know the variety, but there's three seeds in each one. So uh, I have got a little bunch to show my mom tonight, well, this afternoon when I go around for lunch. Uh, and before I go around, I'm absolutely red hot now. So, as Mr. William Coleman would say. I think it's time for a strong boat. So I'll catch you guys later. Take care of one another. Please hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And if you have and you like this video, please hit the like button. Uh, and I will see you again very soon. Bye.